Okay, December 22nd, we're going to be using a pressure reducing valve repair kit to repair the pressure, pressure reducer under the house. I talked to some friends from work and said to have my my water pressure is not as good as it was and he said oh yep no problem you just get this gauge you hook it up to a faucet and you adjust your pressure regulator but um i got a gauge hooked it up to the faucet pressure looked fine i asked the neighbor up the street if he had any pressure problems he said nope so that led me to believe it wasn't coming from the water main it was our pressure reducer so i thought i was just gonna be turning up the pressure reducer but um, that would have been the wrong thing to do. And then I read up online that the pressure reducers can get clogged up. So I got the rebuild kit instead of just trying to just clean it. But anyway, we'll show what we got here. When you hook up this, it just screws on. pops right up to to 80 so I think 80 is kind of on the high side they're saying around 75 is what it's supposed to be but if you look at the flow I'll put a bucket underneath it just to see house and clean this thing out and replace the the pieces in there which the main thing is a strainer let's get some light on the subject here all right right here is our pressure reducer that's the flow of the water there's the shutoff valve that would be the adjustment to make it more or less pressure we'll be taking off this part and pulling out the guts but first I'm going to shut off the main water supply and then go drain some pressure from outside. Alright, All right, that's our water pressure relieved. All right. With a 9 16 wrench, you're supposed to all this and this. You're supposed to measure as well, too, to see the exact height. And what I'm going to do is try to keep that bottom nut where it is. So when I put on the new one, the, the rebuild kit comes with a new bolt and nut, which is a good thing because this one looks a bit rusted. But the, um, Oh, that's disgusting. You can definitely tell the rust there. That reminds me I'm gonna put a bucket underneath it to catch stuff. So you take that out and that relieves some of the pressure off the spring that's inside there. Probably a special wrench just for this purpose. Unfortunately, I don't have it. In fact, channel locks might be better.
Oh yeah, channel ox. Oh, that's a much better idea. The pipe wrench would have taken forever. Alright, what fell out was this nasty old spring, which we'll be replacing. This top cap thing. And what was that? Well, that's actually part of the spring, so my spring was broke. That might have something to do with it. Anyway, all this is going to be new components in the in the kit. Now this we're supposed to pull out with some pliers. There we go. That wasn't as gunked up as I thought it was going to be. But there we got our washers. All that. Now the instructions I read. Ugh, yeah, there's some gunk down in there. Said you got to clean this out, and one way to do it is to just turn the water on and let it kind of flush itself. So, this might be messy. Yeah, I'm gonna get a piece of plastic or something. All right, to keep from making an absolute total mess, I've got a piece of plastic to put over this. Mainly to keep it from spraying on me since it is cold. And to keep it off from the insulation and to hopefully direct some of it into the bucket and see how that goes. Uh, somewhat. shirt get down in there looks like there's some mud and whatnot it might be from the water main break we had last summer the new kit here we go came with some silicon lubricant you're supposed to put around this o-ring and the bottom of the ring, which I'm gonna do while partially wearing a glove to keep it off of me. All right. And this is supposed to just slip down in here. When I say slip, it's actually gonna take some pressure. There you go, not as much as I thought. And then there is this which has to go in that orientation right there then the spring and that's gonna be hard to do but the spring and this little cap that goes on top of the spring now this this bolt you're supposed to wait till later to put it on but i think i'm going to put it on partially now to help hold everything in place and then keeping pressure on the spring and everything, unscrew that to get this started. Okay, channel locks. <laughs> Double check the height of that one. Oh, 
which is about where the old one was. Then we'll go hook the pressure. We'll actually run some water first. So we'll turn on the main water and go run some water first and hook up our pressure gauge and then adjust our pressure accordingly and check for leaks. All right. Excellent. This is just below. So what we'll do is go make gradual increases on the the bolt that presses down on the spring until we get our pressure up around 75 or so. Okay, our pressure is way below what it needs to be, so we're going to use 9 16 wrench to turn this bolt clockwise to put pressure on the spring to let some pressure through. All right, we'll go double check our gauge. There's perfect, right below 80. We'll shut that off. Turn it back on. There it goes. Now the instructions said to wait 10 minutes to see if it fluctuates, but I want to see what our water flow is like. Definitely better than it was before. Put this back on and double check it. Right there. When you get your pressure where you want it, you turn that lock nut. So it stays there, and that's it. Okay, the tools I needed. I had two pipe wrenches, but I ended up only needing one and a channel lock type wrench thing. A 9 16 wrench, the pressure gauge, and then the rebuild kit for my pressure reducer. And I'm glad I got this kit. Part of me was thinking I was just going to clean the old one. But as you saw when I was taking it apart, well, one, that bolt was really rusty. And two, the spring that controls it was rusty and was broken the top section of the spring was broken off and that piece was i guess all right kind of nasty but anyway now we've got our flow back in the house because it's not just about pressure it's about water flow as well anyway if you've made it far in the video thanks for watching please like and subscribe and good luck fixing your water pressure flow issues